Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details. I want to do a quick product kind of review with you guys. I was sent the McKees 37 Hurricane Car Dryer to test out. And I've had it for about a week now. I've been able to use it on several details. I want to share with you guys just kind of the, the basic specs of this, some of the features and the benefits of having a dedicated car dryer that is pretty much what I would consider the best on the market. So let's take a look at this amazing car dryer and some of its benefits. So you features. can see here from the McKees 37, the Hurricane car dryer, some of the basic specs of this unit. As you can see, it is a hangable unit. It comes with four durable casters. It is an all steel powder coated finish, so you know it's meant to last. It's not gonna have rust. It actually comes with a one year warranty. The air from this actually can blow up to 350 miles per hour. That's why they call it the Hurricane Car Dryer. Um, that is super impressive. And I can tell you when I am drying a vehicle off, um, it takes, you know, seconds for me to dry a panel off. Uh, it's given me the a greater ability to dry tires um, and wheels. All of the, the front grill get all the nooks and crannies, especially if I'm prepping a vehicle for a ceramic coating and you want to make sure you get all the water out. I've been able to use this to blow everything out 100%. It actually helps tires and wheels dry faster. I don't know if any of you have ever tried to detail vehicle in the winter time or when it's colder. Um, we'll clean our tires first, wash the paint, rinse everything off, and then you want to do your tire dressing when you're done. But if your tires are wet, you can't apply your dressing. And sometimes as a detailer, that can actually slow this you down. It actually speeds up my process. I can use the dryer to blow off my weather tech mats or rubber mats. I actually did this one a few minutes ago and you can see just how fast I was able to dry it off versus the ones that are still kind of air drying. In the past, I typically would use a combination of these three here. You know, my husband's like, oh, just get out the, the gasoline blower and use it. Well, it stinks, it's non-filtered, it's hot, it's very loud. Um, you, you know, you've got to deal with all the exhaust and fumes and sometimes I can't even start it. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I end up throwing it or kicking it or screaming. So I don't even mess with that. And then I would just use kind of a, a cheap electric blower. I know a lot of people like the works blowers, but they can be big. They can be bulky. They can be very loud that I've used this in the past and actually wondered, am I causing damage to my ears? Because for you to have, you know, lift it higher up to get some of your roof panels and things like that, you've got to have it very close to your ears and it can be loud and potentially damaging to your ears. And then you have smaller units that, you know, these are meant to, to do more like dusting and, and computers and things like that. And while it does a decent job, it takes forever. It's not very, you know, it, it might have a very small filter on the bottom, but it's cold air. Uh, you know, and you've got minimal length of hose on this unit over here. I actually have 25 feet of cord. I have 12 feet plus another six feet of hose. So I have 18 feet of hose. I can leave that unit on the ground here, get all around the vehicle, and I maybe only have to move it to here, but I can keep it plugged in here and be able to dry this entire vehicle with just moving it maybe once or twice. And the fact that it is on the caster wheels, it's movable. It's just been a huge asset to me being able to effectively wash and dry cars safely, as well as use it on interiors, as well as use it to dry off mats and tires faster, warmer. Um, it Actually, it's been nice for me to be able to keep my hands warm. I even can blow out my garage with it. You can see here a windy day. We've got a lot of leaves and things like that. So I'm just going to show you guys some quick you know, ways that I've used the Hurricane car dryer and ways that it might benefit you as a detailer or maybe as an enthusiast. But I will tell you guys, if you want one of the best car dryers on the market without having to spend, you know, three, four hundred dollars, I know that there are some master blasters out that are out there that they're three fifty, four hundred dollars. And, and this is, you know, far more affordable. It's actually on sale right now on their website. I'm going to put the link down below for any of you that are interested in checking it out. Um, it's a great value. It might be, you know, you might think, wow, that's quite an expense. But what you spend on proper drying towels and the fact that sometimes we have to constantly be replacing them if they lose their, lose their absorbency or the potential of scratching your car finish 
um, it, you know, not being able to uh, safely dry your vehicle and the, the amount of money that you might pay to polish a vehicle or the amount of time and energy that you take to polish a vehicle, this is going to greatly decrease that risk and actually save you money in the long run. So it's it's called an investment for reason, but it, it's going to pay off dividends in the long run because you are safely and effectively drying your vehicle off, inducing less scratches, um, and you actually, it's a pleasant user experience because it's nice and warm. You know that you're safely blowing your vehicle off. You're not, you know, throwing dirty, um, dirt or, or, or debris onto your vehicle, potentially scratching it that way as well. So we're just going to show you a couple seconds of how I would use something like this. And if you are interested, I will put the link down below. Let me know your thoughts, co you know, questions, comments down below. If you guys have an option of what has worked for you, by all means, please share it. Um, I'm not saying that this is uh, the only option out there. In fact, for those of you who maybe uh, price is an issue for you, McKee 37, they have actually their turbo dryer, which is a 6.5 peak horsepower and actually comes with a portable strap. Um, six foot hose length, but it's a, a great uh, option for those of you that maybe you're looking for um, something that's not quite a financial investment, but still get fantastic results with heated and filtered air. You've got phenomenal customer service with McKees 37. A lot of times we can buy these products from Amazon or eBay, and you don't know who you're buying it from, what kind of user experience you're going to get. If it breaks, you don't know if they're going to stand by it. McKees 37 stands by their products. That is one of the things that has continuously brought me back to them. Anytime I've had an issue, anytime I've had a question, they are there to support me, to um, you know, give me the, the answers to the questions I might have, or you know, if I if something goes wrong, they're there to fix it. So I absolutely love this product. Thank you, Nick and the guys over at McKees 37 for letting me test it out. And like I said, let's see what this baby can do. Guys, I got done washing this. It's about 50 degrees today, and uh, my hands are cold. And once I was able to use that dryer, oh baby, that's like putting them on top of like a little bit of a fire. Just you got that little bit of a nice warm feeling to it. It definitely kind of takes the the chill and some of the the stiffness out of my hands. I'm getting older. <laughs> Just to be able to have a little bit of that warmth on a on a cold fall day, definitely is an added bonus for me. Uh, that may not be a huge selling feature, but for me, it's definitely a, a added perk for me. But you can just see what fantastic results. There were actually a couple instances when I was going over the surface, I came dangerously close to the paint and I, I may have actually gone over it. I didn't scratch it. I love that. I don't have to have a huge motor or engine up near my face with a large blower trying to get it. I've got the unit down here 
it's safe. I'm not going to have any sort of hearing damage because it's right up next to my ears. It's down here. We had the casters. You could see that I was able to just pick it up, bring it over here. It kind of glided with me. I had more than enough hose. In fact, it was getting in my way a little bit. I had more than enough hose to get all the way around the vehicle. You can just see we've got 12, 18 feet of length. So that was more than enough for me to get this entire vehicle all the way around and even some of the backside. So you can see anywhere from drying off your mats, uh, accelerating drying your tires and wheels so you can get your tire dressing done faster, safely drying your paint and glass, getting all of your nooks and crannies dried out, especially prepping for coating. You can blow out your interior. Let's say you maintain your vehicle routinely and you just have a little bit of dust and debris. Using something like this to blow out your in interior kind of helps save you time. You don't have to vacuum as much or maybe you don't even have to vacuum your vehicle because you can just blow it out. Maybe you have a truck. You can just blow it out. I actually did that last weekend. I didn't vacuum my vehicle. I just grabbed the blower, blew everything out and called it a day. My family didn't know the difference. But anyways, these are just some of the added benefits of having a fantastic product like this in your arsenal. I'm going to put the link for it down below, but I hope you guys enjoy this lengthier look at the Hurricane Car Dryer and the benefits that it can offer to you as an enthusiast or a detailer. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And uh, what are some of your favorite features of the Hurricane Car Dryer? What would make you kind of want to add something like this to your arsenal. I want your feedback. So, all right guys, we're gonna dry this baby off, contact our customer and call it a day. You have a fantastic weekend. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thank you to McKees37 for sending this to me to try out. I really appreciate it. It was actually on my bucket list of things to purchase and you just totally blessed my day, my week, my month. So thank you guys. I thoroughly appreciate all the products that you have, the support you've given this channel. and. Uh, I'm just proud to continue to use McKees 37 and be able to share their products with you guys. So, all right, have a fantastic day. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.